have seen before. Realizing that times now seem to be getting harder and harder based upon what we are dealing with in this pandemic time of crisis. But the children of God still must give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Because truly he's worthy to be praised no matter what's going on. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let me lift you now. I believe we should pray. Father God, our Lord, our Savior, Father, we thank you now for what you have done. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Father, right now, even though it's raining outside, we ask you to let your joy rain down in our hearts. Lift us now, Father. Lift up, bow down heads. Relieve troubled hearts and troubled spirits in the name of Jesus. Father, we know there's no failure in you. If it be any failure, the Lord has to be within ourselves. So now, Lord, Lord, please, say, in the name of Jesus, put joy in the midst of sorrow. Give hope where there is no hope. Put peace where there is no peace. Put understanding where there is no understanding. Lord, God, we give your name all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This is the day <clears throat> that the should rejoice and be glad in this day. Mm -hmm. My brothers and my sisters, we're coming now into our holiday season of the year. So many of us now are starting to feel the pressure, missing loved ones and not having the things that we normally have and able to do because of those people that we used to have so much joy being around and no longer with us. Amen. Amen. But still, I tell you, we got to give God the glory and give him the honor and give him all of the praise. Because Big Mama may be gone, Big Daddy may be gone, but God is still ever so present. Yeah. And for that, we have to give him glory, honor, and praise. I want to say this beautiful day, even though it's raining outside, I want to preach a little bit. I won't be before you too long today. Just want to lift you a little bit, let you know that uh, trouble is not going to last always. It, it, it's going to come for a minute and it's going to leave. It's going to stay with you always. The dark clouds that hang over our heads right now that has the title COVID 19 or the pandemic, it won't last forever. Is only here for a season and then it has to leave. Amen. Amen. But the children of God, the believers, we have to remember that God sits high mm -hmm. and God looketh down low and God makes no mistakes no matter what it seems like in our lives. Mm -hmm. Preacher, I, I, God gave me something here. I'm going to talk about it just for a few minutes. Out of the book of Psalms, Psalms 33. God gave me a very, very deep word. I promise to make it as quick as I can. Out of uh, Psalms, the 33rd. Mm -hmm. Psalms 33. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, right before Psalms 32. Right after. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Psalms 33, right after Psalms 32, and right before Psalms 34. We'll find Psalms 33. Please let your eyes and your fingers upon the 18th verse of Psalms 33. Psalms 33, verse 18. I don't matter what Bible you have, should give you some outline of this. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in vain. I so wait for the Lord. He's our help and our shield. For our hearts shall rejoice in him because he hath trusted in the holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Oh my God, what a word. 
Amen. 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 What a word. What a word. I felt the Lord. What a word. What a word. Can I just talk a little bit on this subject this morning? God sees everything. Amen. Won't be before you know. God sees everything. I, I think I would say it again because I don't believe you quite understood me. Maybe you didn't hear me. God, God. Sees, sees everything. Amen. If you don't mind, I know I should add and I got to add it. Not only does he see everything, he already knows Preach, boy, everything. Oh, my God. I'm going to talk a little bit on that subject. God sees everything. I like that. God sees everything. Even when you think nobody else sees you, even when you feel that nobody else is looking, ain't nobody watching me, ain't nobody paying no attention to what I do. I get away with this one this time because I'm by myself. I just call the chain God see everything. Amen. He's an all seeing God. God see what you don't see before you see what you can see. That's right. God see everything. How? How? How can God see everything? Because the word just told me to hold the eye of the Lord. That, that means no matter where you are, God has an all-seeing eye. Come on, Pastor. Come on. I like it. I like it. Call the tell me the word that even, even if you make your bed in hell, the eye of the Lord is there. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, God sees everything that we do. So what they really tell me and to help you to understand, you can't fool God. You can't hide from God. Yes, put a blanket over your head. God still see behind the blanket. Come oh, on, y'all didn't catch me. Oh, no. you, if you hop in a submarine and start dropping, do, 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 do. going down toward the bottom of the ocean, do, 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 do. no matter how low you go, God got all seen eye. He see you dropping. No matter if you catch a catch a catch an airplane and get them above the cloud, God still his radar see you. God sees everything. Mm -hmm. Knowing that my brothers and sisters have no room for error, mm -hmm. no time to play, no time for games. We must be about our father's business because. God sees everything that we do. God is aware of every move that you make. God sees every deal that you're trying to deal. God sees every connection that you're trying to connect. God sees everything you're trying to make happen, even if it don't happen. God sees everything. See you when you're right. See you when you're wrong. See you when you're middle. See you when you're undecided. See you when you decide. See you when you aren't sure. When you're not sure. When you are sure. God sees everything. Amen. God sees it. God, God, God sees the devil. Yes. Before the devil sees you, God already sees the devil. God sees before it even happens. God already sees it. God already knows it's about to go down. Because we had an all seen eye. This pandemic movie, God already seen it before it happened. But then the question, God, why would you let something happen that's so, so prevalent, so rough, so tough, so hard on your people? Sometimes God let things happen to see how you're going to respond to what's happening. I feel like preaching up in here. Sometimes you got to get in the fire to understand how to get all. I feel like preaching. You got to get in it so you can see God bring you all up. You got to understand. Even in the midst of what you're going through, you got to see God will put no on me. Then I'm in the back. That's right. You got to see it. Right in here, we just don't want to see it. Sometimes we don't want to deal with it. That's 
why we use the word, I hope it never happened to me. Oh, I hope that never come. Oh, I hope I don't have to ever. Oh, I pray that that don't never. Oh, I don't want to go through nothing like that. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. If you keep living, don't die right now. They keep living. That's right. You're going to see some things. You're going to go through some things that you thought you'd never see and never have to deal with all because some things you have to go through is not for you. It is not for me. We go through a lot of things so that God can get the glory out of what we've been through. It's going to help somebody here for a minute. Sometimes the pressure comes in your life, not just to put you down. No, pressure comes to squeeze the grace and the mercy of God right out of you. So you can tell somebody, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I, I'm a living witness. I could have never made it through what I went through. But God seen me through the fire. Yes. God got to see you through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's some people right now. They walk around with a pink shirt on. Mm -hmm. Say, yes, I'm a cancer survivor. Yes, I'm an overcomer. I made it through cancer. Yes, I've been through this. I've been through this. I got a t-shirt. All because God seen me through it. Yeah. God seen me through it. Yes, I went through surgery. Went in, I'm sure. But God seen me right through it. You got to know God sees everything. God the deliverer. Look at verse 2. Verse 2, see, so you got to understand. Verse 1 tells you what God sees. He did all see it. Right there, right there. Verse 18, you see. Uh, the eye of the Lord uh, is upon all of us. He let you know, I see you, I see you, I see you. I see you, I see you. That's verse 18. Then verse 19 says, and he delivers. Not only did God see, but God will deliver. Oh, I feel that preaching now. Y'all might be having me preach a little while. Not only did God just see Ah, uh, Watch this, watch this, my brother. So I'm going to help somebody here. Have you ever been in a car? You're driving in a hurry, you're running late, you're never on late. You're trying to make up time that you can't make up. But in your mind, I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and get that. The speed limit is 65, 70, but you run an 80 and 90. You're trying to get there. You're dipping in and out of the car. You're whipping around. You're trying to hurry up and get there. All of a sudden, something touches and says, slow down. You don't know why. That's the God scene when you cross over the hill and head toward the bottom. There's a wreck at the bottom. But God saw it before you saw it and had you to slow down. Because God is an all-seeing God. Mm -hmm. He saw what you did not see. Mm -hmm. He knew blue lights was up ahead in the cup to give you a ticket. And all of a sudden, you just slowed the car down. No, it wasn't because of you. Because God sees. And then verse 19 said he delivered. He delivered you from getting whatever you was about to get into. Please, boy, you got to know God sees everything. Yes. God sees it. And God can deliver you from death. A lot of you have already been dead and gone. But because God seen you wasn't ready to die, you wasn't fit to die, he held death up a little longer. All because he sees. And God knows. I like that. I like that. A lot of us have been out there finding where we're going and die. I ain't got nothing to live. I ain't got nothing to die for. But God sees further than you can see. God know more than you and I can ever know. That's why we're still alive. Ain't cause we're good. Ain't cause we're living such a good life. God is so pleased with our life. No, it's because God is a deliverer. You can't die to God. Deliver your time. God ain't sees a day that you got to keep. God sees the date and then God delivered the date and the time and then the date and the time get delivered to you. Y'all ain't talking back to me. You got to understand what God can't see. God sees that you should die, but it ain't time because the date ain't right for what the delivery is. And God won't let them two get together to get to your address. I feel like preaching up in here because when God get ready, he make he see you. He let the date see you. He let the time see you. And then he delivered the time and the date to where it needs to be. And then that not 
said, so I know y'all ain't gonna talk to me. You can't die to God. Get ready for you to die. God sees everything. Yes. I don't care how many accidents you've been through, how many times you've been shot, you've been cut, you've been this, you've been that. God sees everything. You can't go until God get ready for you to go. For you to go. Yes. Okay, how much alcohol you drink? I don't care how much drugs you sniff up your nose, how much you put in your vein, how much you put in your mouth, God sees everything you can't die to God. Get ready. Yes. He's a deliverer. God delivers us. And God keeps us alive. Y'all been here. Mm -hmm. Deliver. God delivers us. Yes, keep us alive. And God keeps us alive. You don't hear me now. I know God keeps us alive because none of us deserve to live. Yes. The sin that's in our life, all of us should have already been gone. But because God sees everything, mm -hmm. God knows God's a deliverer. God knows a point place and a point of time. Then it all gonna come to an end. Mm -hmm. But until the end, we might as well just keep trusting and believing in God because God, that's right. He just do it all the time. No matter how we are, God is still good all the time. And I, I got some good news for you here. Let me show you how. How God sees everything. I, I gotta tell you this because it's very important that you get this point right here. God sees good in you, even though you think ain't nothing good in you. Can I preach like I want to? Oh, I need to say that one more time. Somebody didn't get that. Everybody in your family told you it ain't nothing in you good. Ain't nothing about you good. Act like your mama, act like your dad, look like your cousin, and you ain't, ain't that good ever gonna come out of you. You got that Paul to tell them just because you can't see it, don't mean it ain't. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I know it's some good in the car. How do you know it's some good in the plumber? I got good news to tell you this is how I know it's some good in me, even though you can't see it. Wipe the glass and look a little deeper. He said, Everything I made was good, please, boy, and very good. And I was made in the image and the likeness of God. God put some goodness in me, even though you just can't see it all. You want me to do right now? 
what nobody else sees. See, God, God see the plot that's planted that nobody thought was going to be discovered. It was planted. What you mean, Paul? Uh, in the upper room, the Lord already knew about the plot. Principal, I think I'm going to help somebody right here. God, in the upper room that night, that's why he said, hold on. Whatever you're going to do, go on and do it quickly. That's right. And somebody said, what, what, what you mean, Jesus? Whatever you're going to do, go on and do it quickly. I mean, he already, he could see what was about to happen. Right. He already seen that you were going to betray him. He already knew that. That's why he said, go on, whatever you do, go on and do it quickly. Mm -hmm. That's what God tell the enemy when the enemy said, Jesus, and Holy Ghost tell him back up to Jesus. And Jesus asked him, said, yes, I see Palmer on Field Road. Yes. Can I mess with him? The Lord said, yes. How much can I do, Lord? Say, do whatever you want to do to him, my God. Don't go too far out the car. I got my eye. Please, boy. I got my eye on him. That's the same thing with your man. Every time the devil get ready to bother you, he had to get permission. Please, Palmer. It had to get permission. Say, Lord, yes, say, I, I see member so and so and brother so and so. He said, yes. He said, do you mind? The Lord said, go ahead on. Touch what you want to do, whatever you want to. Because I got my eye on that boy. I got my eye on that girl. Y'all ain't going to help me here. I didn't feel good. I feel all right right about now because I feel God moving now. Because I can see better now than I can see when I was on my way here. Uh, no one under me uh, 
Christ in whom 